Hi, I'm the Cannibal Pickle, and I'm going to show you how to make something that's not as easy. Look at all the stuff I have out this time. Um, it's just potatoes and carrots, but like yummy. So um, you've got to have about six medium-sized potatoes. We're going with Trader Joe's organic red potatoes, and about four carrots. We're going organic again, and you need about maybe half of an onion, um, whatever kind you like. And then you're going to need, we use, um, we used to use Trader Joe's crushed garlic paste, but they didn't have it. So I'm trying this Trader Joe's minced garlic. We'll see how that works. And a lot of oregano, like maybe two tablespoons and a dash of cayenne pepper and I don't know how much salt but that's why I have this trick and I'll show it to you later but first I'm going to start out with um, peeling my potatoes and cutting them and then I will come back to you. I forgot some things. A pan. You need a pan to cook it in. So this is what I'm using. Butter like half a stick and um, you've got to cover your pan so I'm recycling tin foil from the last time I cooked this and I'm using a recycled napkin as well in order to catch all my peelings. Okay, now I'm really gonna get started. Oh, knife and cutting board. <laughs> okay, so the potatoes are now peeled and rinsed. So we're going to lay down a few slats of butter in our pan and a slat is like maybe a quarter of an inch. So we'll put a couple of those around. This is a buttery dish. If you don't like butter or margarine, and, or you can't eat it, avoid this dish. See, our pan is buttered up. And now I'm going to cut the potato into like bite-sized pieces about this big. And then I will come back and go from there. Okay, so the potatoes are all cooked, or cooked, yes, wouldn't that be nice if it was already done? They're all cut and um, laying in the buttered pot there. And I'm going to put another layer of butter on top and then peel the carrots. And when I'm done with that, I will come back to you. Okay, so the um, potato now has another layer of butter on top and the carrots have been peeled and rinsed. And while you weren't looking, we set the oven, but um, it's we're setting it to 450. It's getting there right now. It's at 400. Yeah, about that. Okay. So um, even though I've peeled the carrots, I'm kind of being a little bit random right now. I'm actually going to cut the onion and put it in first because I kind of tuck it into some little nooks there. This much onion. So we're going to cut that much onion into pieces about yay big and we're going to fill it in in the spots and then we'll come back. I finished cutting the onion and even though I put it in the fridge first, I still um, uh, got my eyes very much affected, which is why they're all runny now. But um, when I said in the spots, that's, this is what I meant. Cut it and like put it in between the potatoes. And I probably only used half of what I cut. So don't listen to what I said the first time. But now we're going to do the um, carrots and look, I probably need to peel that just a little bit more, which I'll do when you're not looking. And for now, I'm just gonna show you, cut your carrots about if it's on the skinny side, cut it like that. If it's on the fat side, cut it like this. And then those are gonna be put aside for right now. Don't watch me. Okay, so I'm gonna cut those and I'll come back to you in a little while. So the carrots are all cut and my eyes are mostly back to normal. But before I put the carrots in, I'm actually gonna make this kind of, it's not a broth, but this is how I figure out how much salt to put in. I actually pour it in the water first. And then um, mix it up. And this is why I didn't tell you how much salt to put in because I never really actually know. I just kind of 
do this taste thing. And then after um, I poured it in there and stirred it up, I taste it to see if the, and I didn't taste that, so let me try the other finger, to see if it's too salty or not. And I keep doing that until I get it the right saltiness. So I'm gonna do that a little while and then I'll come back. Salty enough now. So now I'm gonna use this to mix my um, other spices in. Just take that right off because you need a bunch. And you're just gonna dump, 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 dump a lot of that in there. You know, maybe that's closer to like a tablespoon and a half. See like that much cayenne pepper? That much right there. Put that in and then we're gonna put a lot of the minced garlic in too. Preferably without making a mess. Oh, too late. Okay, so like that, like, that's probably like a tablespoon and a half too. And then I'm gonna stir that all up. Okay, so that, I'm just gonna pour all over. And mix it around. I need some more water. Just Usually that goes in a lot better than that and comes out more even. So it didn't, which means I'm stirring it around with a knife because that's the appropriate tool to use when you are stirring things as a professional cook or chef. Yes, gourmet chef here. Stirring up with official tools and the most appropriate cooking techniques known to the human species. Feel free to try a spoon if you're not quite comfortable stirring with your cutting knives. All right, that'll, that'll go in. Okay, there. All right, so now we'll throw the carrots in. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle the carrots and push them down so they get into the water a little bit. See, you don't want the water to come up too high because we want it to kind of boil on top. And if you have too much water, you're just going to boil your, your carrots and your potatoes and it's not the same. Okay. And then we're going to go with a little bit more salt on top for the carrots. So just sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, and this is sea salt. Can you see that? Is my finger in the way? And if I had it, I would have put um, white wine in this, like splashed a little bit on there. But I'm out, so it won't be quite as tasty, but it should be good. I'm looking at the salt and that's how I'm deciding when I'm done. So I'm just looking to see if there's a little bit of salt on every carrot. And that looks good. It's going in with its cover. oven and it's going to go in for half an hour with the um with the tin foil on and then it will go in for another half hour without the tin foil at least it might be even be like 45 minutes or an hour we'll have to see um so it takes a long time to make this so free up your day <clears throat> not doing anything else that day Okay, so we busted out the margaritas real fast while we were waiting. And now the half hour is up and it's time to remove the cover. And normally I wouldn't stir anything, but I think I might have oversalted the carrots. So I'm just gonna give them a nudge around with a spatula. And my youngest son is being a bit mischievous here. He's trying to really stir. Again, if you don't oversalt it, you don't have to do that, just leave it still. But covers off, going back in. I'll check again in 30 minutes and see if they're looking nice and brown on top. And then I'll come back to you. I suggested that we let them return in the time. Please 
It has now been 24 Thank seconds you. short of half an hour, almost. Responses. Closing, closing, closing. Anyway, I took a look. Yeah, that's hot. And it we'll looks pretty done to me, so I'm now. pulling it on out. See how the carrots have kind of started to shrivel a little. The potatoes are kind of brown on the top. That is my cue. That is that's good good to go. So out it comes. Half an hour. And I'm going to let it cool off, and then we'll taste it and let you know if it came out good this time. Taste test by rice bowl. Question and examine your perceptions. It's perfect to me. Test by my youngest son. And it's got.